every now and again I like to just put the engine together not screw it together just put the pieces together to see what it's going to look like when it's finished sorry about the chimney sort of wobbling that's not been screwed on properly but you get an idea of what the engine looks like I'm rather pleased with the way it looks so far I think it's going to be a fine engine when I get it going so let's get back to the workbench these tanks one either side of the boiler are real tanks and they are where well, they will be when the, the engine's running it will be filled with water and that water will be feeding the axle pump and the, consequently feeding the boiler so these two tanks need a uh, balancing pipe between the two of them so that when as one as the level drops in this tank it's similarly dropping in the other tank and feeding the pump and then when I fill this up here which I can do by just removing this this cap fill this this tank up with water it will automatically feed the tank on the other side just making things more simple and easier to do um, now a balance pipe is a bit awkward because I can't have a balance pipe this end because the tanks high here I can't put a balance pipe just in here because the firebox is in the way and the ash pan etc it won't fit plus I uh, I could probably put one up this end but I'd have a problem in actually screwing the connections together to put the balance pipe in because I'd have to put the balance pipe in after I put the boiler in and the side tanks on because the balance pipe goes underneath the boiler so the only solution is back here at the cab and I'll show you what I mean now what I have here is you can see in this corner here there's a, there's a pipe outlet now I have a similar one on the other side and that's at the bottom of the side tanks now these side tanks need to be connected together these two outlets need to be connected together here's the uh, side tank assembly for Russell you can see it all comes together in one lot it took quite a long time to actually make this out of uh, brass and angle and all that sort of thing um, what I want to show you here is that's the servo motor there for the um, throttle or the regulator are these um, outlet pipes at the bottom here the problem was as I developed these is that they're buried once I put this onto the boiler so I have to put it once I put it onto the chassis I should say so I have to extend these so that it's out of the area of the firebox so I can make connections to it but there lies the other problem is that there's all very little space even under the foot plate at that uh, stage and the reason for that is this is the rear bogey this sits underneath the foot plate at the rear I've gone as far as putting um, um, side control springs on it here it's got a suspension plunger at the top here so it's actually got some weight it's actually carrying some weight of the engine and this wheel sits in this space here it's always a little awkward doing it over the top of the camera but it sits in here and as you can see and the, and the, and the firebox comes to here the wheels only just missed the firebox I had to set the wheels back a little bit to miss the firebox and um, just doesn't leave a lot of space for putting that um, balance pipe underneath here here's my um, solution for the um, balance pipe between the two tanks you can see it here goes around the back end of this uh, frame stretcher and I have two banjo, banjo joints there where the uh, the tanks will fit onto. If you remember, I was in too much of a cramped space. So I've come up with the solution of banjo joints here and the linking pipe between the two tanks. What I also did was took the opportunity to take the, um, the water supply from this banjo joint here, off, down, and around, as you can see, and along to the bottom part of the pump, the axle pump which will be supplying water to the boiler and that goes in again on a banjo joint you can just see there if I bring it a little bit closer you can you can probably see it there just having to pull focus a little bit that's the banjo joint there at the bottom of the, um, the axle pump so I've got that solution going <laughs> 